<laughs> I like the Mishima storyline though. Yeah. All of them are pretty good endings. So what's your strategy going in? You're playing uh, Steve. So what are you doing? What are you doing here at the tournament? Um, just practice combos, I think, yeah. and practice punishing things, just getting warmed up. My first match is against Jody the Great. He's a Shaheen player. Um. So I have to be careful of his hop kick for sure. What do you got coming up right now? Looks like there's a big crowd coming around this stage over here. Looks like a marquee match happening at this stage. Right in front of us, actually. Yeah, Lars versus Fang here. Tommy Don, YYD. Oh no, he did turn around after. We are in the uh, Mishima Dojo. On the iconic stages, it's been a lot of trailers as well. Also the one with, uh, you guys brought the statue with you yeah. here to EVO too. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we brought this booth, it was at E3, you know, we really wanted to, to, to give people kind of a, a real life, kind of life size experience of uh, the game, so, you know, what better than actually put you in the game, put you in the stage. You know? Yeah. Complete with Hayate here as well, so. Yeah. And Kazumi too. Yes. The husband wife. So you've seen a lot of the trailers as well. What do you think about the storyline between uh, Kazumi and uh, Hihachi? Oh man, uh, I'm really interested to see what the storyline is to see how she got Akuma to to um, come in and try and kill Heihachi. But I mean, Heihachi is pretty hard to kill. He, they tried to kill him in Tekken 5 with Raven and he wasn't successful. They got Nina and Anna, and Anna as assassins too. <laughs> Still unsuccessful. Yeah, oh wow. wow. Did a, a back four. You got Fang and Rage right now. Yeah, what we haven't seen a lot as well too is being uh, utilized is uh, the, the Rage Tribes. A lot of people really haven't uh, been executed in this game. Another tool set, another tool for uh, players to utilize, you know, when they're in Rage. Yeah, I definitely want to try and get it in with Steve. Uh, I think it's pretty damaging at the wall. Like, uh, I heard it doesn't scale as much, or it's pretty damaging. And then also, Steve's also does a wall splat too. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it varies from character to character. Some of them are more defensive. Um, like Paul's kind of rage drive death fist pushes you like four or five like character bodies away. So. Yeah, just like Fangs too. Yeah. His shoulder. I like to call Fangs the cold shoulder. <laughs> Pretty in. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are a few characters that you can use to, to do a wall carry for sure. What's up? Thanks for filling in. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, second match here. I actually like the uh, track on this stage. Yeah, this one's good too. A lot of Lars on this too. It's a favorite in Tekken 6. Yeah. I think a lot of people are still trying to play him similar. But you know, that's the beauty of Tekken, right? Um, you can still use Tekken 2 combos. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just, just uh, building uh, your knowledge base every single game. That's true. It's like riding a bike, you know. Definitely sticks with you. It's a lot of the fundamentals are still the same. Just spacing with punishing. He's got those spin combos. Oh. Oh, he didn't punish that one properly. Oh, nice. That was a good punish. Oh, dropped the combo, though. 
got some Okazemi after, though. Oh, that punish was different there, too. Oh, didn't get a chance to use it, though. Yeah, you always gotta have a little help. Either way, if you pulled it out, you probably would have uh, just uh, dropped all the stuff and died. Yeah, because you still take damage even though you use your Rage, rage Art. This timing's a little bit off on these thing combos, but still getting their full hit afterwards. Oh. Try to punish with a throw. This is gonna be uh, sweet. We're gonna go 3 0 with Bang. Seems like it. Oh! Uh, right on Q. Uh, oh, but he dropped the combo. What we got going on here? Both in Rage. Oh! Let's go! Nice! Tommy Let's slide. Back. Come back. I think that's what he was trying to do at first, but he didn't come out, but he was able to get it the second time. Oh, good whiff punish. I think he's still trying to figure out the combo here, though. Yeah, I think they're kind of still killing each other off and spacing out. Oh, nice. Uh, no punish on that hop kick, though. Nice. I think Tommy's found his groove. <laughs> he's coming back. Let's see if we could do a reverse sweep on this. Nice. Oh. No. Drop the combo though. Throw it out. Oh, second hit. Thanks on having this anymore. Why would he is just uh man on a mission right now? Yeah. Oh, now they're both got rage. Dire straight right now for Tommy Dom. It's not blocked. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, that's as close as it gets, guys. Just barely edges him out. Well, at least he cares about him. He's asking for a medic, though. Yeah. <laughs> and Tommy Dom's journey through Evo continues. <laughs> With the reverse sweep, too. Down two, come back three. That epic slow mo. Building that tension. Yeah. Especially with the slow mo right at the end, too. Get ready for the next battle. I feel like uh, Evo is being run really, really smooth now, too. Um, kind of with the left and right here. Uh, it doesn't look like we're having any kind of uh, slowdowns or uh, issues, so. Uh, yeah, I think it's going pretty smooth right now. I think we're on time. Yeah. It's, it's always easier as the tournament goes further in the day. I think in the morning, like, some people just can't wake up and they yeah. just try and find them, but, or wait for them. It's an early start. 8 a.m. is an early start. Especially in Vegas. Come on. Yeah. Are people sleeping, like, at 10 o'clock in Vegas? No. Everyone's out partying. Nah, no, not in Vegas. Yeah. So, an 8 a.m. start, you might as well not sleep. Yeah. To sleep afterward when yeah. the pools continue in the semifinals. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, Fang's at the wall. What's he going to do to get out of here? So now they're comfortable, you know, with each other. They're, you know, taking their relationship to the next level. <laughs> No nonsense, we're getting, you know, we're getting the party started. It's all business now. Yeah. We're not shy anymore. Thanks. The Slars players really got it. Tommy's got it going on. Oh, nice low. No combo after. Huh. Oh. Good throw break. See if he uses it. Nice. He's like, I don't need rage. Yeah. I don't need it. I will do more damage. What's rage art? 
no need to use the Rage Shrine or Rage Art. Oh, no punish after that. Ooh. An eye. Wow, wow that rush down. down. Yeah. That offense is pretty good. So strong. It's constant attacks. Don really come with the pressure. Yeah, he's got Fing at the wall again. Oh, switch places. That's good. Ooh, hands behind the back too. Get off. Nice. Oh, uh, drop the combo again. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Too slow. Nice! Oh, it actually hit! Wow! <laughs> that Lars player might have been doing something though. Yeah, Tommy I don't think might. he was blocking and yeah. just pressing a button. Um, yeah. Might have been like a panic of 4 3. Nighty night. <laughs> Alright, we're in the final round here. Let's see what comes with this. Also, final match too. Yeah, we got Fink and Light Show over here. Alright, now thank all the strong. Got him at the wall again. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure Lars with rage too. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. One more hit. Yep, that's Happy it. Night. And YYD, YYD takes it. Yeah, I really felt, uh, you know, towards the end, that last uh, round, he really picked it up, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. People start off so shy. <laughs> like, huh? what are you do? For some people, like, the turbid strategy is to, like, play safe first, try to yeah. feel them out, yeah. see what patterns they have and yeah. stuff. You want to go all in right in the beginning. <laughs> 